Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, we are here to figure out I'm trying to figure out this horse. Damn it. Alright. You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, might want to talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Shit, 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 Get back here, you fucking... Dude, I will get you. I will get you so hard. Oh, on the line. Blow me down. Excuse you. Holy Moses. Bad rain's coming. I'm begging you, stop! This is uh, very kind of you. Uh. Hey, you stop right there! Whoa, come on, let's not do this. Not a word about this to nobody. You understand me? Please, just stop. You gonna leave this or not? I never say anything. Never. Now, don't go bleeding about this to no one. What? Stop running like a damn fool. You think I'm joking? You got this all wrong, you goddamn fool! Oh shit! Oh god! Watch yourself. Oh god damn it. I'm <laughs> just fucking yoinked. That took way too fucking long. Jesus. Bad rain's coming. Get the Here we go. Here, I'll drop you right here. Move. Well, been a pleasure. Yeah, you just keep moving. You chick Matthews. Oh no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Ah. Sorry, I will return this horse. Yeah. So I essentially did all that for nothing. Let's 
Chase, the more you owe. Oh no, you can wait there. Something would have happened. It's true. <laughs> All right. I'm honest. Really. For the most. You are very lucky I'm not running you down. Ooh, that was another perfect. No, it wasn't you. Was it you? I don't know if it'll be perfect anymore, but... Damn it. Alright, so it's by Big Old Tree. Maybe this one? to this final one. Ooh, what's this down here? Yeah. Oh. These folks have been dead for a while. Second hour, but the great one is my savior. Cool. I know stealing from the dead ain't great, but I mean they're dead, so Can't take nothing. Can't take that either. Mm -hmm. 
I do wonder what that fucking noise is. Let's go. Come on, girl. Yeah. There, girl. It always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Bitch. At least he's not proper. Steal that, it's a debt. Damn it. Can a man have some peace? You get back here right now. Think this through, you fool. You're just Don't just make the Damn it. All right, let's go. Okay, girl. So what exactly did I leave behind?
For five dollars? Damn it. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. Fresh out of nowhere good. Welcome, welcome. Oh. I can say my about my yeah. bounty here. Get a fresh start. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let me see what that is, and then we will get it going. Was that someone screaming? Oh, I think it's a pig or something. Oh, 
Hang on, hang on. Ooh, I got you. Hang on. Uh, my legs are numb. Please hurry. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you said. Sure. Oh, that was okay. bad. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Alright. Hey, same way I'm going. Yeah. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I, I can't afford to dismiss offers yeah. like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful, is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Oh, there it is. Now, just a little further. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well.
Alright, time to head home. So, I've been kind of right now, like, something that I've noticed is whenever, like, I'm closing out videos or something, I'm kind of always thinking, like, okay, like, I have to put myself in the shoes of, like, this is an old video, years, a couple, a little bit old, so whenever I'm just kind of like, and I hope y'all have a good day, and like, oh, I'll see you again next time, or not, not, not stuff like that, but also, um, I don't know. Who's there? Dumbass. The hero returns. Shut the fuck up, Bill. I said something in my last video that was just kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird. Because it was just like, uh. I don't know. It was just weird. It was just weird. Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, I'm guessing this is what. So it's actually Medicine Wagner now. Nice. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. The fact that he did not enjoy that soup is a little telling and a little scary. <laughs>
with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope. That hope begins now. By being uh. hopeful and happy. So cheer up. Yeah. Now, so maybe uh, Mr. Shea stops fucking complaining. Damn it. That's not what I meant. All right. There we go. And there he goes. Oh, there's water. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Mm. Oh, it's morning already. Shit, never mind. Like, at least he's closed. Cause... Good day, Mr. Morgan. Watch this pick from my fobster. Uh, oh, shit. Morning. You missing Good morning. a tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. See ya, Arthur. Many thanks.
Well done, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Ooh, now I think I've got some. Give me some leather working tools. I can make some rugs, blankets, and the like out of these hides. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I gotta bring back a whole carcass. Okay. But yeah. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. All right. Oh, I was just there too. Uh, he probably wants something pretty important too. Alright, Taffeta. Let's head out. I don't know why I named her Taffeta. I just... Decided that I'm gonna name her after a fucking cloth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't even spell it correctly. But, um, I, I know that I just start talking more because, like, especially since it's an open world game and a lot of the things that I do <laughs> Good girl. is, um,. I have to ride around a lot, and I know that gets boring, especially to someone that doesn't talk very much. Yeah. And for someone who talks off someone else's ear off, I thought it'd be a lot easier. And uh, holy shit! <laughs> Morning. So I, I think I need to start coming up with conversation pieces before. <laughs> I just get a little like index card, like, okay, what did we talk about today? Uh, embarrassing story? Question mark? What's this? Sure. Let me just figure out how to get up there. Yeah. I won't bite. Just thought I'd share what I'm working on. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. 
Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You oh. can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I actually they guess so. Drive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You have been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, yeah. if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Well, that was an interesting little thing. Oh, pretty. Well, I think I'm going to be calling this apart. Um, again, I really want to try kind of getting better at speaking because I know that's a big problem of mine, is just I, I let the silence hang, and I know that's not what y'all come to my channel for. I know y'all come here to talk. Or listen to me talk. Um, but I'm really enjoying this game, and I really do just love the support y'all are giving, because this is... You done good, girl. This game is beautiful, and I, I haven't played it. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Well... Well, that was bad. <laughs> I didn't. Be okay. Sorry. Yeah, you good girl? Yeah. Hey, girl. All right. <laughs> well, after that near death thing. Yep. Occasion. Well, that's a pretty horse. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. I really need to be careful whenever I'm running around here because, uh, Apparently, the fucking land goes out under you. Almost instantly. Just like that shit. I wasn't even ready. Well, now all of a sudden, oop! But I am glad that I had that. Horse tonic. Alright, now before I begin this quest, I am going to call this part. So thank y'all for what you do. And I uh, hope y'all have a good day. Peace.